Okay, peeps, I just left NXT and you know what, guys? Um, I didn't film a lot of clips because it's a WWE production. I know if I tried to put clips of the show like I usually do for like Impact shows, I would have got flagged right away. But I did get something really, really awesome. And I'm actually going to pair it up with something that I filmed from a few nights ago. Um... I ran into one of the legendary voices of wrestling news in Canada, Dan DeMouth Lebranski. And as many of you know from my last vlog that I uploaded, I met Jason Agnew, the other legendary voice, the live audio wrestling guy. So let's go through those two clips. Um, you guys already saw the Jason one and the other one. Um, because of the interview with Jason, I'm going to start with that one. If you notice, I'm really drunk. I'm using my um, swivel, but I couldn't really hold it up straight because I had way too many at that night. So I was like, uh, uh, wasn't holding it straight. So because of the advice, because, you know, Acme works in TV, I decided to get someone to come out with me from now on when I do these shows and have them hold the camera, which I did this time. I brought Russo back into the fold, um, and he was holding the camera for the interview of... Uh, Dan DeMouth Lebransky. So, let's go to the clip with Jason Agnew. Then, let's go to the clip of Dan Lebransky. And we're going to call this episode Live Audio Wrestling slash Saturday Night Main Event Special. Come on, 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 Come
than three hours of work. Yeah, like exactly. The whole episode is over doesn't compare to those YouTube videos they got. It's crazy, yeah. man. So, yeah. AEW is the way of the future. Well, hopefully, at least uh, something different. Yeah. Uh, you know, for us, WWE fans are a little bit tired of the product, find a new scale or something. Yeah. It's perfect. It's, it's, they're going to do something different. They're going to bring a lot of elements of the older guys, like me like and stuff like that. So, I'm, I'm excited. And just the fact that they had some actual money behind them. Um, They've got people running it and seem to understand wrestling. It's not like Impact when they had Dixie Carter. Yeah, and exactly. Nothing, right? yep. These guys know what they're talking about. They know the talent. They're working slowly. They got the TV deal. So, you know, they're not going to be competition for Vince no. right away. But who knows down the line? Who knows what's happening? Yeah, give them some time. Years, they might right? catch exactly. up. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping yeah. for. It's like AEW's kind of renewed my love for the industry. Like, being yeah. the elite alone. Yeah, it's just like, because they're. They're catering to everybody. Like they have the humor, they have the serious matches. The time, they say the titles are going to mean stuff. Wins and losses are going to mean yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're going to have the stats. Like that's that's all good. And it just yeah, and using the old guys like using Tully Blanchard and Sean Spears. That was a nice surprise. Even, that was a really nice even in that latest video where they had Jake as the poker yeah. player. Oh man, I was the watching poker that. dealer. My little brother was not a wrestling fan, but when he saw Jake the Snake, he popped too. Yeah, it was it was you know those little touches, you know. And that's, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if they'll be able to draw all the other fans like me, but I think if they can get this franchise WWE fans, and maybe even a little bit unique fans, like yeah. new fans, because yeah. they're going to have a prominent squad. So they might be just so aren't even necessarily wrestling fans. They might flip by, but are, are captured by the look of it and, and that. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And they have, they're on TNT, so they'll have some of that old WCW fare. Yeah, know? I guess it's still got that kind of, it is kind of interesting that that's where they are. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I was so. shocked by that, because they got rid of WCW, they wanted nothing to do with wrestling. Yeah, but you know what, that's 20 years ago. Like, yeah, think about that. It's 20 years ago, it's yeah. 2000, right? Yeah. yeah. That's 20 years ago, and you got different people in power now, right? Yeah, and true. I think you've got guys that are more than willing to give it a chance now, yeah. right? No. So. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you for so All right, man. No life. problem. Thanks for all those years of listening. Oh, yeah. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, guys. Straight up. Um... Just the fact that I got to meet those two people, Jason Agnew and Dan Lebransky, completely, completely, totally made my weekend. This is like one of the most epic, epic weekends. I met Jason Agnew once before at the last two strike shows I went to. Uh, second time I ran into him. This is the first time I ever got to meet Dan Lavransky. I have literally been listening to these guys for years. I've been listening to live audio wrestling since I was 16. Um, I think they both came onto the show a little after when I first started listening to it. But I have been listening to them for almost half of my life, literally. So actually to be interacting with them, to be at the point where I could just go up to them and I can film clips from my YouTube channel and they're just like being so cool and just film with me. It's just the love of professional wrestling because we are all fans. doesn't matter where you are. Um, they're obviously pillars of the industry in Toronto, but they had no problem with coming and making appearances on a little guy like me's YouTube channel, and it just means the world to me. It's one of the reasons why I love professional wrestling. Just once you're in the crowd of wrestling fans, it is the greatest feeling in the world. Um, it was a great uh, thing. Um, it's kind of cool if you guys saw in the last one with vlog. I met a guy named Hanji. He is a regular caller of the law. He was a regular caller of the Howard Stern. You guys don't even know. I have a whole twenty minute episode of me talking to Hanji and another dude. He's a really cool guy. I'm hoping to find his uh, contact information, maybe try to do some more stuff with him in the future, because he's a really cool guy. Um, he saw me interact with a lot of awesome people. This has just been an amazing weekend. When there's wrestling in your city and you're a wrestling fan, you know it is going to be an epic, epic weekend. I think getting paid this weekend just made it for me. Um, I kind of feel I paid too much for those NXT tickets. I'm sorry, guys. Um, Literally, I paid the same amount for those NXT tickets that I paid for three Impact tickets, and I had much better view. I was... <sighs> a big part of the reason why I didn't bother filming because of how high up there I was. But you know what, guys? Next time WWE comes to Toronto, I want to be in the position... I want to be in a position where I can actually get some really, really, really good tickets. And trust me, the prices for these tickets, I want to go to SummerSlam tomorrow. Someone told me I had tickets for $150. They could have sold me. 
Not really in my budget. Really, it's not in my budget right now. Um, hmm, this is a good show. NXT TakeOver. Kind of sad Mia Yim didn't get the belt. But you know what? They didn't build her up enough. Unless you actually watched a lot and you kind of know more of her career. A lot of people didn't really see her as a contender. I did because I've been a fan of her. I remember her having awesome, crazy matches before WWE. You know, even before she was Impact and she was Jade. Um, but I guess they just need to build her up a little more. Street Profits, you know, I was chanting for them. I was chanting for Street Profits. I didn't think they were going to win. I literally did not think they were going to win. But boom, they came out and they pulled it off. Um... Thank you for watching the vlog. It was a good show. It was a good show. Um, I'm going to go have one more beer and one more smoke. Then I'm going to head to bed. Got one more day of the weekend. And I guess... <sighs> SummerSlam. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to go out. I don't know if I have the money to do it. I don't know if I have the money to do it. But I'm going to. Maybe. Who knows. Stay good, peeps. And keep it.